Well, hello, I'm Ferrari King. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to watch my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, share this video and watch all my other videos. Uh, of course, as you might be able to tell, I'm not feeling very well. I, I mean, I'm feeling better than I have been. And that's why in this video, I decided to do the top most annoying things when you're sick. That happens when you're sick. And of course, it's may, may not may not get 10, but hopefully we will. There should be more. If you guys can think of more, put them in the comments. And of course, this is all excluding all the nasty stuff that happens like runny nose or sore throat stuff like that that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about when dealing with others things like that one thing i noticed number one is people always want you to speak to them they tend to more likely want you to talk especially when your throat's sore oh man they want you to talk and then if you can't talk and you have trouble moving or anything it's because they think you're attacking them or have a problem with them it's like no i just simply don't feel well and you're trying to get me to talk and interact with you I just said we don't feel well right now two people seem to move slower especially you know you're driving you're trying to get home you're not feeling well your boss tells you you know why don't you just go ahead and take a couple days off you know you're not feeling well just go, go make sure you go to a doctor make sure you don't have a flu make sure it's not this serious and just take the day off to, and, you know don't worry about it. just send, fill out the leave request you know you know saying you're sick and you just go home okay you're going home and the person is on the street, and you know, you're in a residential neighborhood, stop right in the middle of the road. As soon as you're starting to go, well, you want to go around, they start going right at that moment. Then they're driving so slow, and you're just like, man, I just want to get home. I'm not feeling well. And you got to be careful when driving, and no matter what. You know, you don't want to do this. You don't want to put your hand on the steering wheel or any of that stuff, because every any movement you make, the person in another car always seems to think it's against them. It doesn't matter if you're sick or well. That's just how people are. They get triggered like that, you know. Because I've had that happen to me a few times too, you know. My neck is bothering me because as I've mentioned in my other videos, you may know, I have degenerative arthritis in my neck. So I do this sometimes when I'm driving or I'm behind someone at a red light. And they, and they look in the rearview mirror, see me doing that, and they think I'm doing it towards them. No, I'm in pain, you idiot. Three, I don't know if this happens to some of you, but it does to me. Craving food and stuff you can't eat while you're sick, you know. There are certain foods, you know, when you're sick, especially when your throat's sore, you cannot eat. And you start craving those foods. Oh, man, that gets annoying. Craving certain foods and everything. Four, people get louder. Your neighbors, they start blasting their music more when you're trying to sleep. You know, or smoke in front of your apartment more when you're trying to you know, you know that's not good for you anyways. But they start doing it more when you're sick. When you're not feeling well. People try to inconvenience you more. That's, you know, what they do. They seem to get off on it. I don't know why, but people do that. I guess it makes them feel good about themselves to put other people in discomfort. Maybe it does. I don't know. People are strange. <coughs> but say, let me pause this. You don't want to hear me coughing. Okay, that coughing spells over. Kind of figured I don't want to hear me coughing and heaving and all that stuff. Five. And I had this more when I was in school than anything else from a long time ago. And it's always females that do it. Is you're not feeling well. You know, you're blowing your nose or whatever. I used to like duck under my desk and do it so no one has to see me. Always the females got to look at you while you're doing it and run their mouths about it. Why is that? It's like, it's the same thing as, you know, They'll sit where you're sitting, right next to you, sniff at you and everything, and they'll complain to the teacher that you're harassing them. It's like, wait a minute, you're following me around in all the classes that I'm in, sitting next to me on purpose, and then sniffing on me. I'm the one harassing you? What the hell? But that's just usually how it is. That's, you know, how people are. People are just weird or strange that way. People are whack jobs. Let's face the facts, okay? Let's see if I can think of any more. Because I should have wrote them down, but I just did I just did this on top of my head, you know. And you know, besides, you're not feeling well, it's kind of harder to think. Number six. Yes, it can be a little bit more difficult to think and everything like that. But people expect you to remember things. You know, you go to work, and people seem to expect you to be able to do way too much. Already expecting you to do more than you should be doing, and you're greatly underpaid. But they want you to do even more when you're not feeling well. Seven. People treat you like you have the plague. 
Okay, I get it. I, I get it. I get it. You don't want to get sick. I don't want to get sick. When other people are sick, I do try to avoid them. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when they treat you like you have a plague, like, it, you know, like that and all that stuff. No, when, I, when I'm not feeling well, I'm not going to come near you because I don't want to give you what I have. Other people, when they're sick, I've noticed they will come real close. So I understand that, though. But I find it annoying myself because I am not the person who's going to come near you when I'm sick. I will avoid you because I know how colds and flus are spread. I have a degree in molecular biology and biochemistry. I took pathology, immunology, microbiology, all these courses. I know how diseases are spread, okay? I know to stay away from people when I'm sick. Other people don't. They'll get right there in your face and cough, you know, even covering your mouth. I was in the waiting room the other day. There was an older lady, probably in her 40s or 50s, coughing and everything, not even covering her mouth. I'm like, what the fudge? I'm already not feeling well. I don't want to get sick again because if she has a different cold virus, you know, affected by a different cold virus than me or the flu while I have a cold, I can now get what she has on top of what I have. Don't want that. Cover your freaking mouth. Nine. Oh man, this face fact when you're sick, everyone gets in your way. And this is different than earlier one about the driving. I mean, anything, anywhere. You're trying to get to the restroom, it's always full. You know, you're trying to get to, there's no toilet tissue, paper towels, napkins, or whatever to blow your nose. All that stuff is gone, especially if you work where I work at. But, you know, there's none of that stuff. All of a sudden, it's just disappearing. And, of course, on top of that, the things you can drink is not available. Things you can't drink are. Ten, and one, another thing I find annoying is you want to do activities. You get the urge to do activities you cannot do because you're not feeling well, so you cannot do these activities. Man, it gets annoying. But anyways, you know, share what you find annoying about being sick. And, of course, don't forget to check out my description, you know. Uh, check out my website in my description. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video and all that stuff. Because I do need a 1,000 subscribers, and I need 4,000 watch hours, which is not going to happen by February 20th, but, you know. It is what it is. Thanks. Bye.